Hey guys, welcome to the Future Tech Podcast and this is your host Chris Fernando. In this podcast series, we cover the latest and the greatest in the world of tech, including artificial intelligence, machine learning, digital transformation, cybersecurity, big data and lots more. In today's episode, I'm joined by Joanne Wang, the senior regional manager at Synology. We speak about the importance of data backup during a time when many people are working from home due to the pandemic. What makes up a good backup strategy? data backup essentials the role of data and backup in digital transformation and lots more so joan what are going to use the role of data and backup in digital transformation hi chris thank you for having me on the future podcast this is joan from synology so synology is a taiwan based company that has six branches across the globe we specialize in network attached storage and we offer a varieties of applications that builds up an ecosystem of data management. Digital transformation is used of new technologies to overcome business challenges such as work from home because of the COVID-19. A new technology adaptation may include initiatives like going paperless, e-commerce, IoT, and much more. All of these initiatives share a common ground and that is creating more data. With 20 years of experience specializing in storage solutions, we observed that many businesses are aware of importance of data management. However, the efforts and resources put on backup might not be proportional. In fact, should a data loss occurs, it could result in devastating effects such as productivity disruptions, service downtime, and unsatisfied customers. Therefore, data and backup are equally important to complete digital transformation. So according to you what is a good backup strategy where do we begin That's a great question we believe that the number one strategy is backup 321 which is to have at least three copies storing two copies on different devices keeping at least one backup copy offsite followed by the number two strategy which is finding the right balance in features and price of backup solutions to meet the designated RTO recovery time objective and RPO recovery point of uh, recovery point objective using these two measures will help you understand your tolerance level of data loss and service downtime and determine the t- technologies that meets your disaster recovery needs within your budget These strategies are quite mature and we believe that many of you have heard of them before. But we notice that business may find that accumulating costs and effort are becoming more difficult to manage. For example, businesses businesses need to go to different hardware software vendors separately and even different service providers for deployment. So, here comes the number 3 strategy, simplifying the d- complicated There are integrated service vendors, for example, our one-time purchase and one-stop support, NAS solution in the market that makes it possible to have a lower management effort and learning curve of the deployment. To solve this issue, we, for example, are providing solution that allows businesses to centrally protect data scattered across different platform, such as physical server, virtual machine, or even workloads on cloud. That's good. What according to you are the data backup essentials in a post-COVID world? With many people working from home, data backup and recovery is a major issue for companies. What according to you should employees and companies do to ensure critical data is always backed up? Glad that you bring this up. As we are seeing companies around the globe have been forced to embrace work from home. It brings the potential risks of employees scatter endpoints protection or even any unsecure cyber attack. There are a few things to note when business choose their backup solutions to prepare themselves for work from home. First of all, if your business already has a remotely accessible centralized file server, make sure your employees continue to store files in that particular server and the server is well backed up. However, to protect even more thoroughly or if your business doesn't have the file server mentioned above, you may find backing up your employees computers can be even more necessary than ever. No matter backing up remotely accessible centralized file server or all employees computers, you're advised to look for a solution that can overcome the most common challenges. 
We think the number one challenge is data scattered across various devices and platform, forcing IT admin to integrate multiple software and hardware from separate vendors, which not only hard to manage, but also costly. That was again the issue we have been seeing and why we provide centralized backup solution. While more backup might lead to challenges with storage capacity as data continues to increase, we are offering backup solutions with global deduplication technology that can help reduce storage consumption. Say in backing up 100 servers, 10 PCs, the backup systems and application files can be reduced to unique file blocks and maximize your storage efficiency. Backup does not complete the whole protection process just yet. How restoration works is also a key point of a successful strategy. If a file or folder is accidentally deleted, which might happen to a lot of people when they are co-working in different places, how can the employees get the file back and stay productive? With many businesses not adapt to work from home, this could add extra burden to IT admins more than ever. A self-restored service would be a nicer way to go. With our solution, IT admins can enable permitted employees to navigate timelines to restore the data themselves. To sum up, an all-in-one backup solution that comes with the above technologies is highly recommended for businesses' continuity in the post-COVID world. So should companies go for hybrid solutions when it comes to data backup? We can see that hybrid solution has been a trend for not only storage, but also backup solutions. And yes, we encourage users to go for hybrid as it leverages the benefits of both local and cloud backup. A hybrid backup solution usually starts by having an on-premise copy and a replicated versions in the cloud, which ensures the redundancies and fulfill the 3 to one rule. The essential data remains safe and available in the cloud, even if local copies are hit by disaster or IT failure. Such deployment also comes with the benefits, including scalability, that allows businesses to easily upscale or downscale the data storage when required. The pay-as-you-go pricing model gives greater flexibility by allowing you to grow your data without expensive changes to the existing on-prem IT systems. Therefore, if customers have the demands to further protect data as suggested, we will recommend businesses to adopt hybrid backup solution. Thank you, Joanne, for speaking to us. It was nice having you on the Future Tech Podcast. Thank you, Chris. It was nice speaking to you too.